Okay, so we're on to my least favorite part of this job is using a grease gun. I absolutely hate using grease guns. It's a necessary evil that you have to do. But inevitably, you end up getting it all over. So I don't have many good tricks for you other than to have a lot of towels ready. It makes a mess every single time you use it. It pops on there. You know, as far as how much, I'm not sure. It's, you know, I do 20 pumps. 30 pumps, whatever I think feels good. It's gonna, it comes out in an area where I don't quite see. Like I said, you got three of them on this deck. You wanna make sure, you wanna hold down on this, make sure it's not coming up around the grease sir. Okay, so while you have the grease gun out, each of the front tires has one grease circ. And these make a mess too, and they're always dirty. So you want to wipe the grease circ off before, just to help with getting the grease gun on there. And then you can see where it pops out. It comes out around here, and sometimes down the bottom. So I just pump in, like I said, just a bunch. So I, you're probably supposed to pump in so much to get the old out and then the new in. I don't go that quite extreme, but I just put some in there. So there, that was about eight pumps, and you can see it starts to come out around here, and then you gotta clean that up. So something I wanted to show you is grease guns always make a mess. So I, I figured out a way. So PVC pipe with a cap on it, and it stores your grease gun, because these things always leak. You, you use it three times a year, maybe, um, so when it gets hot, they ooze out, and they ooze out the bottom. If you do them sideways, they still, they just make a mess no matter where you put them. But I have found that this works. I had to drill this hole to put a screw into wood. But down here, I, it must collect in the bottom. I don't have a mess anymore down at the bottom. And grease guns, just awful to use. I hate changing a cartridge, so no easy way of doing that.